A doctor who contracted Ebola in September while working in West Africa was given the all clear after being treated at Emory University. Months later, he was back in the hospital, teeming inside his eye, Ebola. We'll need to understand this a little more. We think probably at least we're getting maybe 10 years of strain-specific immunity. This video was published in December of last year, and it's pretty clear to see Dr. Ian Crozer has two blue eyes. Due to the infection, his left eye turned green. It felt almost personal that the virus could be in my eye without me knowing it, Crozer told the New York Times. The New England Journal of Medicine originally published the news of Crozer's condition. According to the journal, in December 2014, Crozer had 20-20 vision in his left eye. Within five days of symptoms, his vision had deteriorated to 20-60. Other than eye trouble, Crozer reported symptoms of joint and muscle pain, fatigue, and deteriorated hearing. Health problems survivors in West Africa are also facing. There are unconfirmed reports of hearing loss and blindness as well. There's not a lot known about what types of struggles Ebola survivors could face, as much of the effort was put towards treating and containing the disease. Doctors who cared for Crozer were advised to wear protective gear. However, tests showed his tears did not contain the disease, which doctors say means casual contact with Crozer before he was admitted likely didn't pose a risk. Although numbers in many countries are the lowest they've been in the past year, since December 2013, more than 26,000 people have been infected with the deadly disease. The New York Times reports Dr. Crozer's eyesight has returned gradually after treatment with steroids and an experimental drug, and his left eye turned back to blue. He left for Liberia in April with other doctors to examine Ebola survivors. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.